Greetings everyone, my name is Ettervale, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Starward Rogue. During the last part, I continued my run using the Rex mechs, and I completed floors 4, 5, and half of floor 6. Unfortunately, I took quite a beating due to a combination of a condemned chamber, right of this one specifically, and a bubble room which was over here, so I took a huge amount of damage as you can see here. But I got an extra shield bar so I have a little bit more insurance. I also forgot that I have the second chance ability so if I die I will get a second chance or a second lease on life. Although I don't know what the stats will be or what health I will be back at once I revive or whether they'll reset the room. Okay let's take the left route, hopefully things don't go awry again. The problems are always the bubbles. Ah, uh, now, now I'm in trouble, I ran out of I ran out of energy basically. Well, I ran out of shields because of one annoying enemy type. There are a lot of health stations here, but I'm a bit concerned with that bubble following me around. This enemy I was referring to, the pink ramparts. That's the one that chased me around and caused a lot of issues. I'm probably going to be using missiles to deal with this uh, green bubble. The, b the bubbles hatch into those larvae and that's where things get problematic. Especially in the rooms like these where the energy elements can actually s or all the projectiles can be sent flying all throughout these pipes or whatever they're called. Okay, where are you larva? Okay, there you are. Okay, that went a lot better. I was worried it was going to take a hit over there. Uh, one second. Sorry about that, there was a weird lag spike over there I was trying to figure out. Well, I'm at least at the positive, but I'm hoping that once I go through these rooms I'll be able to get by a robot companion and hopefully I'll be able to actually regain some health. I want to try dealing with these enemies as quickly as possible, and I will not hesitate to spam shields if necessary. Thank you, Tiny Transport. If I shoot these, they'll fire back at me. Oh, okay, there you are. Well, we have so many missiles, I might as well just spam them now. Yeah, so many missile drops, but what I would really love now is health drops. Hmm, I'm gonna take a slow walk over here and then figure out what's on the other side. And then I'll rush backwards and take a few hits. This would be a lot more hazardous if I... Oh, it's just more missiles. Okay, fine. I have a lot of spare missiles anyway. What I would really love right now is more credits, of course. And held. Thankfully, they're mostly non-tough enemies in, the, in these rooms. If I have a lot more of those enemies, like those, uh, the blaze cannons, or whatever the cannons are now, uh, more of those bubbles, I'll be in deep trouble. Especially in the smaller room types. Oh, it's another sacrifice shop. Oh, never mind, this is a free item shop. Um. Nah, I, I avoided buying the hot rods, so. Sure, I'll take the risk there. I won't be able to ever do crits anymore, but my 
damage is more consistent. Hopefully this doesn't end, uh, end my run unfo uh, due to unfortunate circumstances. I'm not contemplating whether it was a bad idea to not pick up the hard shell, which would have inked half my damage, but would decrease my fire rate 25%, considering how damaging those blue bubbles are. Then again, I'm complaining about the blue, da blue bubble damage right now, or bubble damage, but I wonder if enemies are going to start dealing that amount of damage at base, or every enemy around this area, on higher difficulty settings. Okay, what do we have here? Bullet. Wow, this would be really powerful. Let me... Okay, that'll still be there. Good. Let me just fight the boss, and then if I have enough credits, I'll come back here and purchase that thing. I really want to get the AoE burst ability because that's going to be really po very useful. If not, well, I'll just purchase those two other robotic companions. Or at least one of them. Oh, too close there. I almost took a hit. Once again, I'm an uh, it's these enemies are quite annoying because they can pierce through walls where I can't. Oh, yeah, I forgot the face rippers can split apart. Ah, and I forgot that too. Ah, took a hit though. Well, didn't expect you to be there. The face rippers, of course, they speed up as you damage them more and more, so. Okay, who am I shooting at? That's what I'm shooting at. Bamming missiles everywhere. Where are you, Amago Warrior? Oh, there you are. Well, at least I restored most of my health up to full. I think I have enough missiles to go to the boss fight up there. I'm gonna save up my key cards, though. Okay, it's a Red Hunter. Good. I was worried it's going to be a lot more dangerous of a fight. But no, it's just the Hunter. I never stocked on all my missiles, I think. I don't think I'm going to get the credits necessary to buy that item I wanted. Okay. Take care of the Demisne immediately, then take care of just that one spider. Um, let's see if the boss actually drops enough credits. Mirror version 2, I never fought this one. Oh, I see what it is, it's a harder version. Let's see if I can survive it though without taking an uh, enormous amount of damage. So I just need to keep uh, avoiding all these shots. I don't know why it's called mirror because all the projectiles bounce around the place. I didn't know if I could dodge that. Okay, it's where the boss gets a bit crazy. And I do have longer range, so I probably should be taking advantage of it. Ah, took a hit there. I need to get close enough before I can... Oh, never mind, I can actually hit the boss from all the way from here. I need, to, But I need to be on screen so my shots don't dissipate into nothingness. Okay, only took one hit. 
Sure, but I don't think I'll be I won't take advantage of that unfortunately. Sure resistance. I know it's kind of a more risky pick, but might as well. Oh, I'm, apparently I missed two health spots. Didn't I just pick it up? Maybe I need to re-enter exit the room or it's... Oh, it's probably camouflage with the background again. Yeah, there it is. Alright, let's just backtrack and collect all the missiles that I missed because I will need them for the final floor. Ah, oh, darn, I only needed about seven more credits, so I wasted too much in the other rooms. Don't worry, I'll loop back, I just want to get all these missiles. Oh, and this is the room I can... Okay, this is the room I can rush through now. Uh, nah, no tanks. I don't want to take a hit there. Not when I'm at this low health. Well, actually, no, I'm not at low health anymore. I'm actually almost at max health. Where am I? Okay, I'm in this room. Um, let's just purchase this. Auto cannon because I think that's the more powerful one. And I will not risk killing the shopkeeper because there may I may have enough money for the shopkeepers near the end of the game. Or on the final floor, I mean. Let's see Okay, that should bring me all the way back up to full. Just to be sure, I'm at full, good. So let's run all the way back and get to the end. Yeah, floor number 6 was quite hazardous. My fortune was pretty positive but because I took the condemned room and took a risk over there. And it wasn't really worth it overall, so... But I was able to turn the tables and now I'm back up to almost full health, so I'm really... So I'm happy now. Alright, now we're on to the final floor. Sure, I'll pick it up anyway, but there's... I I don't think I'll be able to take advantage of it at all. Okay then, I could make a beeline directly to the boss, but... Hmm, let me take a look. Yeah, there's another robotic shop, so I want to pay a visit to it too. Let me take the upper route first so I can see the health upgrade storage and the secret room, because I would love to have more health. Hopefully I don't die in the process though. I'll try exploring most of the room or floor again, of course, for more experience and more credits. I, after all, I will need it for, to get the upgrades. Ah, uh, sure, let's go this. Let's take the harder route first. And my secondary weapon can't fire at long distance enough to actually hit it from afar. Oh nice, the autocannon is pretty useful. Ow. I'll take a risk over here. Nah, it didn't really work. It wasn't worth it. I'm not gonna take a risk and face it up close. If possible. Whoa, I forgot. Okay. Good thing I had a shield over there, otherwise I would have taken massive damage. That's one of the beauties of having an extra shield bar. They can eat any amount of damage as long as you take one hit. Um, let me pick up- oh, oops, sorry. I forgot there were spikes over there. Alright, to the left. 
Don't mind getting pushed. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, I took care of the laser turrets, and now for the worst part. Oh, never mind, I actually took care of the turrets, too. Take care of that one. Um, I'll get that item when I go backwards. Okay, more the... Okay, it's a flak launcher. Oh. Okay, now we have a lot of things that we have to worry about. A lot of very tough enemies. Okay, at least this can't shoot me from behind the wall. At least that's one nice thing. Gotta be careful of the, the two of them, Diffusion the and Flak Launcher. They're very durable and they fire a lot of projectiles. Let's see if I can uh, deal with it while then taking care of, of the, the other one. Oh, never mind, I must have destroyed it somehow. I should re-enter and exit the room because there are a lot of health shards upgrades here. Boy, I really wish these credits were available on the previous floor so I could get that repulsor module. Or that mech could uh, that could delete projectiles. Oh no, I'm out of key card. Oh, of course, the previous room has a key card. Silly me. Let me just go nab it. Now I just need to carefully walk back so I don't take any damage. I want to keep all those health upgrade or health up held items in in as backup. Okay, let's see here. I'll take the sacrifice. I'll have one last one there, but for health, it's worth it in the long run. Okay, what's up here? Oh, let's go up. Okay, as long as... Okay, take care of the Luma Flares. And on the... Oh no, there are bubbles everywhere. Let me at least take care of them one by one. And run away and start and deal... Okay, at least I'll deal with the bubbles and then larvae one at a time. That way, I won't have too many projectiles to worry about getting blasted by. Oh, never mind, I have one more shield ready. wasn't really fair when it magically appeared out of nowhere. Can't see where things are popping up now. Let's see if we can take care of this krill spitter splitter. Of course all these mines aren't really helping matters. And that in me. Ah, I took a hit there. I had no choice though that those mines were closing in on me. These widows are always super unpredictable to take down though. Sometimes they'll be really in easily to take really easy to dispatch, but other times they just hide behind stuff. I gotta be a lot more careful when I see those.
Okay, boss time. Oh, a Chronos 4. I need to deal with four of them at once. Four times the pain. As long as you can destroy each uh, one at a time, I'll be, my life will be so much easier. Until then, though, I have to be I have to worry about all the sudden attacks by projectiles everywhere. Okay, one down. I mean, one left. I mean. Ah, took a hit though. These are very hard to dodge, especially if you have a slower mech. I'll keep the triple missile launcher, of course. But then again, that's one of the boss fights that really benefit from you having homing launchers. Oh well. So many good options. I'm sorry, but more damage. I want to have a more consistent stream of attacks versus something that will run out on me. Nah, none of these are really that useful for me, unfortunately. So let's backtrack and go take the other routes. At this rate, I think it'll be a better idea to actually split off this part into two parts, because this is going to take a while to complete this floor. Let's take the right route in the next and see what what, has, what danger it has to offer. Those things, of course. Uh, I don't really like when the blocks also vanish. They really make it so that you can't backtrack easily out. I missed that shot, unfortunately. So now they need to take care of the Viper and that other enemy, who's somewhere. Okay, the ankle biters. There we go. Oh, Shred Guardian. Ow, got locked in there. Otherwise I don't really have anything much more to say other than going through all these floors, going through the motions, collecting as much gear, credits, and experience as I can.
sure, let's pick up one health shard. It would actually count as two because of my random generation. Um, I will pick up another one just for now. Because I want to save up enough for this robot shop. So let's go to the robot shop and see what, what what's in stock at least. Then I'll end off this part at least. There's a blaze cannon somewhere. Or blaze turret. Oh, of course, we have those enemies. I always get uh, surprised when they ram into me and then they slow down every tank. Oh no, another bubble. Um, what happened to the sound effects? Oh yeah, someone did tell me that if too many sound effects play, nothing can be heard. It's everything gets drowned out, essentially. I need to get out of here badly. Oh no, I'm trapped. I need to deal with at least one of these bubbles if I want to survive. Or larva. Oh boy. They hatch from the bubbles, aka eggs, and become larvae. On harder difficulties, we're probably gonna have like the adolescents, and in the hardest difficulty, we're gonna have the adult versions. Think about it, the larvas are already this challenging to face right now. I'm kind of scared to face, let's see what the final versions will be. Alright, let's see what's behind this door for the robot shop. Okay, good. So this will t act like a shield for me. I don't really want the burning drone, but I would rather have the auto cannon. Maybe I'll purchase both if I get enough credits. After all, there's a lot of space I haven't explored yet.
Um, you know what? Now that it's actually 30 minutes. Sorry for ending this part early, but I think this might be a good time to end off this part. Sure, it's going to be on the short side, and part 4 of this run is going to be also on the short side. But I'll be able to be in tip-top shape for the Terminus fight. Because I have a gut feeling that the Terminus fight, there's something that's going to go wrong during it. And I'm going to have, my, have to keep up my A game. So in summary, I completed the last half of Floor 6 and the first half of Floor 7. In the next part, I'll be facing Terminus and hopefully surviving. Well then, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Toodles!